Christos enaste, Alethos enaste, Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead gives us a glimpse of our future as human beings, indeed of the future of all creation. It is more than a source of comfort for those who walk in the valley of the shadow of death. It is a demonstration that the valley path actually has a destiny, a goal. Theologian Michael Lloyd reminds us that history is not just a set of random stories being told by different people that don't amount to anything coherent, as postmodernism would have it. It is going somewhere. God is at work within it and is committed to bringing it safely to the harbor of his final purpose for it. Our diocese has a history too. It is an interesting history, full of trials and joys, containing chapters of both pride and shame. It is easy to get caught up in the dynamics of the present chapter, savoring the successes, worrying over the wrecks. But Easter reminds us that these are transition points towards a greater future, a future where all things are remade by the one who made us. And we pray that in our remaking, the whole world may see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made. Fauna joins me in wishing you a joyous Easter.